I didn't realize that you were trying to pick me up. Uh, is there a body store in town? Okay, uh, I'm looking forward to Halloween. I'm here to tell you though, listen, if you stand at the doors at AMUT and hand out candy and say boo, that's okay. If you lay on a tarp with fake blood on your stump and a running chainsaw, you'll never have to give out candy ever again. Thank you for appreciating my pain. I'll be in your employment equity section of the uh, of the uh, highlight here. Um, we came over to Moncton. People from PEI love to come over here. Costco, for fuck's sake. <laughs> This is the closest I'm going to get to Angie's. I'm your pole dancer for tonight. <laughs> we get outside the place and my wife started praying for Christ's sake. Though I've walked through the valley of thrift, I shall not want. And then she blew the shit out of my credit cards. In that store though, they have that Dr. Souls uh, machine where you figure out what you need for orthotics. So I said, fuck it, I'm getting on it. <laughs> and it said, really? Fucking really? <laughs> Darren and I have something in common. Um, I had to come out to my parents as an amputee. <laughs> I sat them down and I said, okay, mom and dad, I have a disability. And right off, at first they were really supportive, it was great. Um, but they told me, listen, we understand, um, but there was hints. Like that day we found you with your crutches in your room with your friends. <laughs> but it'd be okay for a little while as we, as we talked our way through, but then it would get, you know, it's a, I can understand, you're telling me that you support me, but I know you really don't. Why didn't you put a ramp on the front of the house? <laughs> and they say, well, the neighbors would talk. <laughs> Fuck, they wouldn't even walk with me in the war amps parade. <laughs> but I have to put up with discrimination, I do. I got kicked out of the, the company picnic. I couldn't find two friends for the three-legged race. <laughs> So I said, fuck you, I went home and got two prosthetic legs. And I realized I was too fat to run. I even get it from some of other people with disabilities. I was in the rehab in, in Nova Scotia, not the rock star one, the other one. And I'm there with a 20 year old kid from Cape Breton. He rolled his car and he broke his neck and he's a functional boy, please you. We're talking back and forth, and he says, and I don't really know what my life as a person with disability is going to be like. I didn't grow up like this. I found out that dodge on the side of a truck means dodge. Uh, your instructions, I didn't know. Um, so he tells me, he says, you know what they're going to teach me today? I don't know, everything. He says, no, they're going to teach me how to play wheelchair rugby. I said, Fuck, I've seen that on TV. That's neat. That's that word ball. You take your wheelchairs, you smash them in. There's a football there. Said, yeah. He says, but you can't. I said, why not? You're not disabled enough. <laughs> Fuck you, I can pick my own nose. <laughs> he said to me, he said, um, you have to be a functional quadriplegic to play that sport. I said, really? So I stood up, he says, what are you doing? I said, something you can't. <laughs> My wife, keep, she's, on, she's on to me all the time, eh? You can't fuck with people, Eric. You can't fuck with people. Today, in front of the Bell store, I was sitting down, and some clown came up to me and said, hey, is that one of those fake legs? I said, no, I got shitty reception from Bell, and this is a new fucking antenna. <laughs>
see this, right? And they'll come up to me and say, oh, you should see all the new advancements in prosthetics. You should see the things that they're doing with arms right now. Yeah, fucking great. Pipe bomb. I was uh, pushing a shopping cart with my wife shopping here a little while ago. Because that's what us husbands do, right? We push shopping carts. Yeah. I get around the corner, there's a four-year-old, and he goes, wow, wow, wow! So I said, learning opportunity. So I went over to him, and I took a knee. Well, they already took one. And I said, knee? And he goes, yeah, what happened? And I said, well, I was in an accident. And they took my leg off, but this helps me walk. I said, knee, man? And he goes, yeah. I said, but when we finish grocery shopping, I'm going to go to the parking lot, turn into a car, and drive us home, and I walk away. <laughs> and then my wife says to me, you can't fuck with kids like that. Besides, you're too fat to be a car. I flew up to Ottawa here a few weeks ago, and I get stuck in the row with the mother with the kid who wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> and as soon as we get up and the seatbelt sign comes off, you know what's gonna happen. I did. Mom got up, she had to go pee and leave me in the seat with him alone. <laughs> sure enough, as soon as mom goes, what happened? I said, this is what happens to little boys when they won't shut the fuck up on planes. <laughs> I had an hour and a half nap to uh, call a 229 new friends. <laughs> I love sports. I really do. I think they're fucking awesome. But now I play para sports instead of your guys' sports. But it's, I, get, I get this really awkward moment, especially when I go play golf. I get to the clubhouse. What's the first question? So what's your handicap? <laughs> What's yours? You fucking blind? <laughs> I play sledge hockey and they're really great to us in the rink. So people come up to me all the time and say, hey, um, can we give you a hand? I said, no, stupid, I lost a leg. <laughs> I was skiing a couple years ago. I met Terry Kelly. Everybody know who Terry Kelly is? Applause, yeah? Visually impaired. Blind. And I'm up at the top of the hill and Terry describes to me how he skis. His wife is his guide. She guides him down the, the hill. Um, how many guys in here who let their wives do that? <laughs> Gee, you didn't take the garbage out this morning, buddy. <laughs> so I skied away from him, and I got down to the bottom of the hill, and I just turned around in time to see him literally sitting on his skis going into the woods. And the guy beside me says, oh my God, Terry Kelly just skied into the woods. And I turned around and said, I bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> I got myself a dog, a little yellow lab. He's cute as shit, he really is, but I got all kinds of questions about him too. You know, did you get a service dog? I said, no. Did you get, a, get him for companionship? And I said, no. I have 20 year olds at home that won't leave the fucking house. I'm trying to get this one to raise this one, so I'm hoping he's gonna run away. Maybe the kids will take a hit. It's good though, the kids are working. Um, but I refuse to take phone calls from them. Um, they work in call centers every time they call home, I just fucking hang up on them. My kids did leave the broomerang kids, right? We didn't move in, in between, we made that mistake. And uh, he came back, and then he met this nice little girl, and I liked her lots, and all of a sudden, one night, she stays over. And then there's uh, next week, she stays a couple of nights, and next thing I know, there's her stuff in his bathroom. And I said, listen, fucker, you and I need to talk. <laughs> Because we live in a split entry house and his bedroom's underneath mine. It's bad enough he takes 30 minute showers. Gee, I wonder how long it takes to get clean. Um, that's creepy enough. So I said to him, I said, how much do you want to know what's going on in our bedroom? And he goes, well, well, nothing. I said, I want to know the same about yours. And I'm here to tell you, if I hear a peep out of downstairs, you're going to need a therapist in 10 years to get those sounds out of your fucking head. <laughs> 
that your mother is going to make. <laughs> Thank Christ you didn't ask her. <laughs> my wife has, has it good though, ladies. I gotta tell you, she gets to brag to her friends that she can put my legs over my head. <laughs> Did she ever get herself a fixer-upper, eh? I'm here to tell you, she's with me. You come within five feet of me, she, she'll cut you. <laughs> but we try and keep things interesting in the bed, really do. I, and I, I asked her one night, let's let's give it a go with the prosthetic on. Fuck it, right? She said it kind of felt a little mechanical. <laughs> so I said, the hell with it. I said, listen, how about I dress up like a pirate? <laughs> and you can call me J Long John Silver. Come on, you gotta get your ego stroke too, right? Some girl asked me if this actually affected my sex life, and I said, it's two inches above my knee. Yeah, he circumcised me. <laughs> so yes, you can call me Long John Silver. And she said, honey, honey. I bet you dress up like Terry Fox. We'll call this a marathon of hope. <laughs> Thank you very much, Monday. Good luck.